Which you guys got another video here for you in this one we can looking at how to fix a printer problem after you've uh, upgraded uh, to Windows 10 or you've done some sort of change to your operating system and now your printer is not functioning properly now what we're going to do here is show you how you can try to resolve this issue and this can happen to uh, Canon printers HP printers uh, you know Epson any sort of printer you've got you can use these same methods okay so let's go down to the start button here now normally most printers will have a utility in here Canon has one called Canon inkjet printer utility open this up and then you can go to IE apps user manual or support we're going to click on support and this will open up a browser and take you to their page you can now choose the location you live in in Europe for me and we're going to go down to United Kingdom and uh, this just takes you to the United Kingdom and now we need to go to support click on the support button here and this will take you to their drivers and downloads and softwares and manuals you can now put in your model number mine is uh, MG6851 so you're going to need to put that uh, number inside here and this will show you a list of uh, model numbers now sometimes printers change very slightly and you may have uh, for instance MG6800 or MG6851 you just have to make sure you get the right model okay so you can see there's been a few changes here uh, 6851 6852 very very slight changes so select the one that you've got and you can get access here for the firmware apps manuals software and drivers select the operating system uh, that you're using now if, if Windows 10 is not listed here and your printer is old then you want to select the latest version which will be IE Windows 8 or 8.1 and hopefully that will work out for you. Now you can see this has given us the full driver pack and software pack all in this one download so I'm going to click on the accept and download and this will then start to download that to uh, my computer. So just leave the browser open and let that download okay. Now if you want to you can save that to your desktop so you know where it is. I'm just going to leave it there because I'm going to be installing it in a second. But this does give you access to error codes and stuff like that and I'll cover that in another video. Now um, what you can do here is once you've downloaded your uh, software and your driver you can uh, drop that browser down to the taskbar. We can now close this off. Now if your uh, printer doesn't have that uh, utility or that way of getting to the web you can go onto the internet and type in uh, the actual website name. In this case, I'm searching for Canon, and you can see here uh, I can go to canon.co.uk. This will take you to their web page, and then you can go over to where it says support. Click on the support button, and yours would be the same if it's Epson or uh, HP or any of those other ones. You can click on here, click support, and you can then go to your uh, drivers or download. Uh, drivers and stuff like that and you'll be able to get to the same location okay it's just a, an easier way to go about doing things whatever way works for you go ahead and do it now go down to the search box and type in here control panel and this will allow us to open up our control panel inside here what we're going to do is we're going to go down to uh, the devices and printers and click on this one here now if you don't have that uh, large icons and you have the category you can look for another area to click on which will be devices and printers under hardware and software. Just click on that there and this will take you to all your devices. Now look for your printer and what you want to do here is we want to right click on the uh, printer which is your default printer and we want to remove this device and there we go just click yes here and that should remove your uh, printer now once we've done that what we can do here is just uh, click on the Microsoft XPS uh, document writer and then go up to printer and server properties and look inside here and you'll see a bunch of tabs here up the top and what you want to do is go to devices here inside devices if you see your printer listed here what you want to do is highlight that printer and then click remove then go down to where it says remove driver and driver package and click yes and let that remove it. Now we can click on the delete button and this will delete everything uh, for that printer. Click OK once that is done. And then we can uh, close this uh, printer server properties box. 
Now what we want to do here is go up to the top where you see the actual path here and go back to your control panel. So just click there and go back to your control panel. What we want to do is go down to programs and uninstall a program. Now inside here you're looking for all the Canon software and drivers and what we want to do is uninstall all of those. Now if yours are Epson or HP or whatever printer you're using just remove everything that is related to that printer. Um, so what we want to do is go up here and click uninstall and we're going to uninstall all of those. Execute. Say yes there and it will remove everything. Okay. Now don't worry we have got all this downloaded and ready to go so once we've got all this removed we should be pretty much good to go from here. So just continue uh, removing everything and it'll ask you do you want to completely remove all the drivers and software just say yes click OK I'm even removing the manual because we'll get a new copy of all that stuff just one more item to remove there we go So once we've got all those removed, we can then close off our programs and features panel. And now you want to turn off your printer and remove the USB cable from your printer. Now we can go back to our browser where we downloaded our driver and software package and click on that and start to install it. There we go. It's starting to install. Now once we get to this stage, we can now click on uh, start setup. You need to make sure that you've got your USB lead out of the uh, printer at this stage because it's important. And this will go ahead and start to uh, search for your printer and get things ready. It's going to acquire some information there. And just uh, let this run and it will take a bit of time. So just be patient and let that finish its job. Now once it gets to this stage all we need to do here is select our country and our region and then we can click on next and you can see there's a bunch of stuff inside here so depending on where you live we can accept their license agreement by saying yes and we want to opt out of their extended survey program so I'm going to say I do not agree on that one and this will start to install all the software and everything that I need. Now it's going to give us an option for wireless LAN connection or USB connection. If you are using a USB connection, select that uh, option there. And it will start downloading and getting that all prepared for us. And then once we've got this uh, installed, it will let us know when we can plug in our USB again. So it's just installed in the uh, MP drivers. And this will take a little while, so just let that uh, go ahead and do that. And then it's going to ask you to connect to your USB uh, cable. Because we're using USB here, you can set it up as a Wi-Fi if you wish. Uh, but once you've done that, it'll ask you to insert your USB cable and power on uh, the printer. So let the uh, printer uh, find itself here. Once it's turned on, you'll see it detected. And then we can uh, execute a test page here. So you want to execute a test page and let that print out. And this is going to do all the printer head alignment and test out that printer page for us. Okay. So then all we need to do once we've completed that is click next and it will say setup is complete. And it will ask you, do you want to install any software? And this software is all your user manual, uh, my printer, Im uh, my image garden and quick menu and other stuff like that. You don't have to install this. The printer will work just fine without any of this stuff but if you do want to install it uh, just leave those ticked and then click next and it will go ahead and start to install that software on your system for you. So I'll speed this process up so it doesn't bore you and uh, once this is done it will ask you to register your product. I've already registered mine so I'm going to skip this bit and then exit. Now once we've done that it should be good to go and you should be able to print. Now if you're still having issues there may be some sort of remnants left from the drivers or software for that particular type of printer and what you're going to need to do is use tools like everything or um, a Revo uninstaller and uninstall all of those uh, drivers that you just installed again and then try to 
uh, remove those. Now I've made videos on how to use this stuff so you can check those out, but basically remove all the registry keys and all the software and that will remove it from the system and then try to install your software again. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap this one up. I hope this one helps you out. My name is Brian from browtechcomputers.co.uk. Have a great weekend and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.